We are going to download Autodesk Sketchbook just in case you haven't already. There is a video that shows you how to do this, but I can show you pretty quick. Um, if you will look on your iPad and find your manager app, it's that white app that has the Wi-Fi signal on it. It's right above my classroom on here. You click it. You do not have to log in. You just hit self-service. and it will pop up mine is working slow this morning but when your apps pop up then you just click on the autodesk sketchbook i do not have it on on mine because i just downloaded mine but you will click on it and then just hit your back button and it should pop up on your screen and it is an orange pencil um in a square Then click on it, and <clears throat> you're on the Autodesk. Now, we're just going to go through very quickly and look at some of the things that we've learned so far. I'm going to keep you kind of where the kids are at school. You know, just remember things at school go a whole lot slower because there's more people in here. So, at any point, you can pause me and uh, rewind it just whatever you need to do all right this thing that i'm moving around is called a puck it just kind of like a hockey puck and it has two things on it the top is the tools and which is just like over here at the side these are your tools so this is two ways to access your tools you can click on this top puck or you can go over here on, at the side on your library um, and the bottom is your colors so you can click, let everybody just click on your colors. Now, this will pop up and you have a color wheel. When you click on a color, like I'm gonna click on red, inside you have a square. It's turned sideways, but it's still a square. And on that square, you have a white corner, a gray corner, and a black corner. What you do is take your color, and if you're wanting it lighter, then you're gonna to go toward the white and until you just find the color that, of red that you want. If you want it darker, then you're going to either go to the gray or down toward the black, and you'll have a darker shade of that color. So that's how that works. Now, also up at the top, beside the blue word that says color, go over and it says Copic. Now, this is just a brand of paint. Um, you can click on the colors on the side and it will give you different versions of that color. And you know, you can choose from any of these colors. It's just kind of like when you go to Lowe's and you have a name brand of paint, they'll have their own colors. Uh, this is just the same thing. It just comes with the app. So you may find some colors in here that you really like. I kind of like some of these blues. So I'm going to click on one. So I've got that color. Um, you just click on the gray once you choose something and go ahead and click on color so when you pop back, you'll have it there. Um, if your puck ever disappears, then this is how you go and get it. We've had this happen a couple of times. Down here at the bottom where I'm bouncing my puck, um, there is a circle. You can click on that little circle and it'll disappear when I touch the puck. Um, from the right, and I'm just going to move my puck over, right beside the blue color on the puck, that is your puck. Now, I can make it disappear, and then I can make it reappear. So, I'm just clicking on the little white puck, and it pops back up. So, that's how to solve that problem. If, you, if your puck disappears, that's how you get it. Um, so, first thing we're going to do, we are not really using any of this stuff yet we will get into it later over here is your layers so when it's blue that's the layer that you're working on when we add layers we're just going to hit that plus sign and it'll add a layer and then you can just take your um, finger your stylus and click on the layer if you by the way if you have not picked up your stylus they are at the office just come up, they are free. So just come up and uh, let Miss Jamie know that you need your 
your stylus for art and she'll get it to you. So let's just start off quickly and we're gonna look at the first three. The first three, this is your primary pencil. And if you look up at the top, it says library. You can click on settings. And I'm going to move the size. And if you'll notice the picture changes, it goes larger and smaller. But if you'll notice something else is moving, okay? Over on the other side of my puck, you can see that that little toggle switch is moving up and down. That is another way. And actually, it's the fastest way to adjust the size of your pencil. Now, the next one, I'm going to turn this all the way up. The opacity down here is how dark or see-through-ish your color is. So if it's low, then you're going to really be able to see through it. Like if you have curtains that are very thin and you can stand inside and you can look through your window when the curtains are pulled, then the opacity is pretty low on those. If you have room darkening where the, the sun can't shine through them, then the opacity is way up, up there. So that's what that's for. And if you'll notice, the opacity is over here to the side too. So that's the quickest way to get to those. Most of the time I just keep the opacity turned all the way back up. But don't forget, this goes from settings to library. Okay, so with the pencil, we're just going to test it out. This is on the biggest setting. Um, I'm gonna lower it and try it again. And lower it again, try it out. Now the lower you get on your size, the less you're gonna be able to see it. Okay, so when I do this, I am going to go up here where my puck is bouncing and I'm gonna hit this back button and just take those off. So, um, let me get a little lower. All right, see, so you can just barely see it. So I'm gonna take that off. So you can play around with that for a couple of minutes. Then click back on your puck, and this is the vintage marker. I'm gonna turn it all the way up, and I have loved the reactions. Every single class has given me this reaction when I do this. Whoa, because it's just so big. But when you start looking at it, it really looks three-dimensional. So I've enjoyed you know, watching people. This makes great ocean waves. You can turn it down a little bit and just test it out. And just play around with it a little bit. Okay, and the last one I want to do very quickly. Um, this is the airbrush, and we've had discussions in class about where you might see people using airbrushes. Um, I've got a lot of interesting answers that I really didn't think about. Uh, well, first off, you know, I know at the fair, when we have a fair, you, there's usually a booth set up where people airbrush. Sometimes in parking lots, people will say, have an airbrush station set up and they make t-shirts and license plates and just all kinds of things. Um, it's interesting, that's something I would like to learn to do. Um, people airbrush on cars. We've seen a lot of TV shows where people have motorcycles or cars and they have all this painting on it. They bring in airbrush artists to do that. Um, making cakes is another thing that they use airbrushes for. Of course, it's edible paint. And then, so anyway, to use the airbrush, you just, we're just gonna start brushing it on. And I just go from left to right, brushing it on. And I might choose another color. And this just gives a real soft look. So this would be probably your first layer that you would do um, because we want to do our background. And so after you do this, you may decide you want to add to it. Add a little darkness in there. Okay. 
And the big thing that I am looking for right now is that students know how to very quickly access the colors and just go back and forth. Because if you can get fluent in doing that, then it just, it'll make when they're really drawing, it'll make their life a whole lot easier. We're all about making life easier. Okay. So I think that's a good place to stop there. So when you do this and what I tell them, um, you can bring your puck over here. Let me see if I can scoot this over a little bit. Um, and hit this plus sign. And what that does, you see your little bitty picture down here on the side. And that I just put a layer on top of it. So what we've been practicing is just going back and we're gonna make that layer disappear. It'll still be there. But see the little eyeball on it? Where you're gonna click that eyeball and it makes it disappear. So now I'm working on this one. So what we may do is go back and click on, you know, pick, click, on, click on the pencil and turn it way up. And I may just get, I'll try white. It, it might be a little hard to see, so. Uh, just practice writing your name. And then click on this, and that throws your background back on there. So that's just kind of showing them how to add layers. You want to add something on top of that, you could. You know, if you get that and you look at it and you don't like it, then I'm going to back, go back like, and click on my name, and I can delete it. So just hit that little trash can right there, and it takes it off. So if I want to add, you know, layer there and. Arms and Erection teachers and students, let's support our Nettleton Raiders and show our Nettleton school spirit by wearing black and gold tomorrow or some uh, type of Nettleton attire. So let's support our Nettleton Raiders and show our school spirit by wearing black and gold tomorrow. Okay, and you can tell I'm filming this during the school day. So if you're at home, you can still support the Raiders by wearing black and gold or black and yellow. <laughs> um, so anyway, that kind of threw me off for a second. So you could just um, add, to, add to that or not, doesn't matter. Now, if you are just in love with this and you want to keep it, go over here where I am bouncing my puck and click on that square and you have new sketch and gallery now we're not messing with anything else on this right now so it, it doesn't matter you can hit new sketch or gallery uh, they're both going to let you save it if you do the gallery you're going to be in the gallery if you do new sketch it'll send it to the gallery but you won't be there you'll be ready to start on your next sketch so i'm just going to go ahead and click uh, new sketch create and then it'll ask you right here if you want to throw it away then hit discard discard will have a red x and then it'll ask you again to double check to make sure that you're not throwing away something that you want to keep so um, um go ahead and hit discard and if you want to get rid of it, if you want to keep it then hit save now if you save it it'll put it in your gallery and i'm going to click on my gallery and these are just some things that I have made in class, playing around. Um, so, I love this one. This is gonna look so good. I mean, I would love to have that just as a painting. So these are just some things that we've messed around with in class. Okay, so if you want to get out of the gallery, there's two ways. You can either hit your home button and go back in. Of course, it's going to take you out of the app. Then you can just go back in the app. Or click the plus sign at the bottom and just go up to new sketch, create, and it'll take you back to this. Okay, so that's as far as we're going to get right now. I will make another video tomorrow, and we will finish the basics 
Um, most classes have, today have gotten almost finished with the basic set. And so, you know, we will go through, this. that set's pretty big. So we'll start going through some of these others. And as we go, I know they're gonna be, it's gonna be a little quicker, but we're just practicing going through and just seeing the tools and see, seeing what these tools can do. And that way you can pick out maybe your favorites and go back and use it. As we do these, I'll kind of talk to you about what it's like to use the real thing and some things that I might say to you if you were using the real thing in class.